Hello, spiritual seekers, on this lovely Monday, the beginning of a new week, new trials and tribulations and obstacles that you have to go through, a growing phase in life. And when, uh, you know, I was shown a brow patch, and then this brow patch is all around, and it's like the CD is sitting inside this brow patch. And the illusion that was given to me was Alice in the Wonderland. And it had to slip through a hole just to get through to us. And it was dropped in my spirit that he said, God said, that's the type of head strength of protection that Satan has placed around you. It's literally death getting in and it's literally death getting out. And he says, whenever the covenant, when you come into a covenant with Christ Jesus, and you break your covenant and you do not live by the code of what it is in the commandments of God, it's like death. This is this is the illusion that God has given me. Because God says, um, that's that's part of having the keys to both heaven and hell, because you can you can go through and fro in the name of Jesus. And, and it was dropped in my spirit just the other day. Uh, God says I had to raise up one that could commune with the gates of hell. Just like Satan and Job 1 and 6, Satan slithered in. Because we're still in the phase of breaking generational curses. But now we're breaking witchcraft and voodoo. And how they're using homosexual lesbianism to control people in the land. And God showed me. He said, that, see, this is part about having keys to both heaven and hell. Job 1 and 6, Satan slithered in when the saints went to to pray to talk to Jesus. And God says, I had to have one that I could raise up. That could commune between both heaven and hell. And he says, very few has came the way that you came and you made it in the name of Jesus. And one slip up, I'll be out of my mind. One slip up and I'll be out of here. But I have not reached to the point to where God has want me to be. So I'm still in the charge of breaking, because God has called this young, God has called Damien out. His soul is coming out the gates of hell. And when the word is spoken of his life, his word should not return unto your voice. So that's the reason why you continue to see these, all these faces. Witchcraft and voodoo, what Dr. One and the Bond of them have done for fame and wealth and for power, satanic practice because of principality, because they put they put Bill Clinton over the nation. There's more, but right now I'm kind of like discombobulated in my mind because I'm supposed to get this word and earlier when the angelic beings had the ram open where I could really speak, but I had to wait till now because time was pushing up against me. And the God and then they wanted confusion to be in there. But what I was but what I was being while well, I was praying in prayer early this morning, I got up at the last minute to pray. Because she be fake praying, she be fake fasting. Whenever she prayed. And I'm not it's nothing I have against one need to bind. This is how they have been doing idolatry worship and satanic worship and what they call church. And it's not godly church. This is what they've been doing in their church. Fasting and, and you're still snacking, and you're still eating. Um you don't read your Bible. You're more communing with these. I die. This is called familiar spirits. Whenever you talk to them in the matrix, that is familiar spirits. So you, she's telling you what their God, man God, the kings of this land God has said, not with the, well, not by biblical content. So early this morning, God began to show me how Reverend Timothy Fleming, he says, you got to know what they're doing inside this, this palace. So at some point in time, when Janet Jackson in the early 90s, she met Timothy. I know this man. I had a relationship with this man. Me and this man was going to get married. We both got tattoos on our legs and everything while he was incarcerated. But he was still communing with Janet Jackson through Hazel E. on the internet. And I said, no. So therefore, if you was doing it then, you want to do it now. And that's exactly what he's done. They've twisted it up. He was also Damien in my life when I was dating him. This is They stole from him. Reverend Timothy Fleming. So every time they're dating somebody, they said somebody over here is the same so that I can date the same person. So whenever they break up, they'll cast their hurts on me so that they won't they won't seem like, you know, they're bothered, but they're really torn up in their spirit and their minds. And that's why the reason why you see Bernice and Mr. Bell together. So to twist up Damien's life, some point in time, in the early 90s, Reverend Timothy Fleming had uh, dealings with uh, both of these, and just like God dropped in my spirit, He never, He never led me astray. The reason why I did it because the reason why I did not wait for this man when he got out at, and I was not at the gates, He called me to come and get him. God had ever dropped in my spirit. He's going to be running, running around on me with all these females that pretend to be Janet Jackson in the land. 
And that's exactly what he done. And he was going to leave me because they want to bring us over and they was going to make him be famous because he went and done time for them. He went and done 10 years in prison for the government because of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King. They've been locking us up for, the, for their crimes, what Ernest Burns has been doing. So now, so at some point in time, Janet Jackson, before he went to prison, Janet Jackson met Timothy. And it was a cover-up for Timothy Fleming. Pastor Reverend Timothy Fleming. Who stole from our future because I was supposed to build a church. So he built the church and he built the house. So now I'm struggling with the fact of trying to build build this ministry because I heard Satan says you're going to be dumb for them. So Satan, he's fighting for me, but it's like he's fighting against me. It's delayed, but it's not denied. So this is how they've been doing using witchcraft. So in the, they had did that. At some point in time, he met Janet Jackson. He used to tour with Janet Jackson because he told me. He told because I'm, I'm friends with my young son. You got to get to be friends with him. He, used to tell, he said, you know, I was real. I was a real trickster when I was out in the street. And he said, I used to tell him I'm coming and I would never come. That's where, that's where that heartbreak hotel come. Janet Jackson would go to hotels and wait for Timothy to come. And Timothy would never show up. Or he would, they would, they would talk back and forth. And then they would just disappear and they would not talk. So... Jane and Jackson, at some point in time, they really had Timothy the Tim that I know that I dated really had an encounter with Jane and Jackson because he left Georgia, South Carolina, he went to California when he was on the run from the law. And then he went to Texas. All for Jane and Jackson. So now Damien is supposed to be Janet's Tim because they want to bring these guys over so that they, all of them can get married. They, they want the guys to date me first. They fall in love with me. Because he's in love. He's in love. You don't want me to date, but you don't, you know what I'm saying? But you want to run around and do what you want to do. So if I date, then they'll, they'll a little scuffle or something to come out to let me know. Look, get back in your lane. They don't want me dated. I cannot date because every time they send one of these guys over. So they'll have the guys to break up with me because they, they want to put into play why did I get married. Now, one in the bottom is the mama. So I'm going to tell you what Birdman Brian Williams done. He sucked this girl. Uh, they they claim they're from Florida, and uh, it come from out of abusive relationship. And they're on um, Janet Jackson is getting money from the government to live off the government. They're living out Section Eight housing. They sure are. So they sent this girl over here with her girlfriend as a representation because they told them the government told them if you go over there, it's something about this land. It's something hoovered over this land. You come over here and you don't know nobody, and you get tied up, and you think you're doing stuff. Either you die, you on struggle out on drugs. Or you're an alcoholic and you don't last long here. And I'm not just trying to put no fear in nobody. I'm just telling you what I know. So Tiki, they're helping. They're trying to make Damien marry Alicia. But Alicia's cheating. She's on phone conversations to this girl Tiki. Whom Birdman sucked over here to tell them to try to befriend me. So that she's supposed to be a lesbian. But she went through the matrix ram to give Damien oral sex. So they want us to fight. They want us to, they want it to be a Wendy's fight because also I didn't put Jessica. Yeah, there she go. Jessica, the brass girlfriend. They sent a literally a real live date over here for her to date Sunday night for uh, this girl. So they don't marry Damien off to her, but she's cheating with all these men. She's cheating with Wayne. She's cheating with uh, Dr. Jamal Harris and Brian. Because at some point in time, uh, so Jamal and the, the chairman, Bishop Neil Ellis, who was Tiki, Alicia's father, they're together. So Jamal is telling them, look, we're together. So these girls will do anything that these men would tell them. But guess what they're doing it all? They're doing it all in my image, in my name. So they'll cause me to live in poverty because these girls is dating all these guys. And they are helping Alicia talk to men on the phone while either Damien he's at work or he or they're together, but they're not together. So she's slipping around on the phone talking to all these different men. Not only that, Toya, she done married Damien through Red so that her name can pop in the industry. You guys, let me pray about it because this is kind of confusing. But I had to drop I had to drop something today to let you know how they're using witchcraft, uh, voodoo homosexuality is lesbian. These folks is lesbian only for the simple fact to manipulate people's mind and to break a relationship. So one of the Bible says she's going to marry John and they're supposed to marry her spiritual sons. Uh, Pastor Jamal Harris and Brian and, and, and Mr. Bell. It's a mess, y'all. I